Good afternoon, Matt. It's Kerry here from Pacific Toyota Lexus Cairns. So what I would like to do for you today is a personalised high definition virtual tour of our 2016 Ford Mustang Fastback GT in a two-door coupe. Only done about 20,000 kilometres on it. So in this video itself, I just want to make sure I mention if there's any stone chips or any bad perfections in the paint of the vehicle or any ripples in the paint, I would like to point them out to you and actually get them done before point of sale before I put it on transport for you, heading off to Mackay. So let's just get straight back into it, the vehicle itself. Uh, basically, I just want to show you a little bit more about the dealership here. We actually own two pre-owned premium dealerships here in far north Queensland in Cairns. We hold up to about 160 to 200 cars at all times. And we also have, uh, on the background itself, um, you see that showroom, that's a two-story showroom we have. And we basically hold up around about your hatches, your sedans, your hatches as well too, SUVs, full drive, wagons, utility, dual cabs, etc, etc. So basically I'm not too sure if you've been in Cairns itself, that is City of Cairns, about a kilometre in town itself. We do also own a second pre-owned yard, that's about 235 Mulgrave Road, about a kilometre and a half on the left hand side. Next to that is our new car department and Lexus as well too, service and parts department. So let's get into it. I don't want to bore you with that more of that stuff. Let's get straight down to it. Um, into our Mustang here that we got for your GT, two back, fast back. So let's get straight into the front bar itself. Um, just want to give you a look. It's got your uh, factory fog lights on the front of it itself. As you can see, really nice, very clean, very tidy. It is about to rain here in Cairns at the moment in far north Queensland. Just make them all way up onto the bonnet. Just make sure there is no stone chips at all. You can see the gloss in that paint is actually really nice. It's got a nice good shine on it as well too. But I actually go through that again and make sure I do that on delivery and give it a bit of a clean. Just up onto the windscreen. Just make sure there is no chips or cracks in the windscreen itself. Okay, just make them all the way back now. Looking down to the left side of the fashion of the vehicle. Just to make sure there is no ripples in the paint. That looks fantastic. So I'm just about to head down to the side of the vehicle, into the rear of the vehicle right now. Matt, that looks really, really good. As you can see, beautiful weather here in far north Queensland. Fantastic. Okay, just make my way to the rear of the bar. Just want to make sure that you probably will get a little bit of luggage marking. I see there is a couple little ones here, there as well too in there, but we can brush touch those for you. But fantastic, on the back of the rear bar, it's got your sensors as well too. As you can see, one, two, three, and four. And you can see that it actually has a nice set of twin exhausts, X4 sort on that as well. And up onto the back of that, behind your badge, is uh, you got your reverse camera there as well too. All right, fantastic there, Matt. That looks pretty good. Just up onto the uh, boot of the vehicle. Pretty nice, fantastic. Okay, before I go any further on the driver's side, I wanna just go around on top of the uh, roof of the vehicle. Just make sure there is no perfections on that side. Make sure there is no stone chips on the top or any bad perfections in the paint. Fantastic, that looks good. You can see that nice extra sticker that's got it on there as well too, so it looks really good. It actually sets off the vehicle. On the revision mirror, it's pretty nice and tidy. There's one little marking there, but I'll be able to get some polish and polish that out for you. Okay. Just going to look around the uh, wheel arch itself now, just make sure there is no uh, damages around that side. And just actually on the rim itself, just make sure there's no gutter rash on there. You got your uh, Brumbo brakes on that there on the front of them. Just a little bit of a side skirt on the side there, as you can see there, Matt. Up around the real wheel arch right now. Around the tyre, around the rim, so it looks really, really good. So you can see that they've probably looked after it really well. Okay, so just make our way on to the uh, right side now on the driver's side. Just stepping back a little bit and looking down the side of the vehicle. 
fantastic. That looks pretty, pretty good. So I'll just make my way down the side of the vehicle. Just to the front here, Matt. Fantastic, that looks really, really good. Okay, so just gonna work around to the uh, wheel ash right now on the front of it. And just the rim itself as well. There's no gutter ash on that front driver's side. Down on that side skirt as well. I just noticed that there's a little marking here. Oh, no, it's a bit of dirt. And just around on the uh, wheel arch as well too. Fantastic, and just on the rim itself. All right, Matt. Okay, so I just noticed it right on the corner here. There is a little one just there, but I can get that brush touched for you as well too. Okay, just opening up the driver's side door. Just looking the trim on the driver's side as well. Fantastic, the trim looks really, really nice. It's got that nice leather effect to it as well too. Then you've got your electric windows, your mirrors as well too, and your fold-in mirrors as well, as you can see there. Central locking up onto the door handle, and then basically just working my way down onto the uh, kick panel. It's got your electric seat. As you know, you can go back and forwards, as you would know that as well. And just basically inside the vehicle itself, just having a look at that interior. I'm just gonna fold those seats back and just giving you a look in the rear of it. Fantastic. In the back of those seats, it doesn't look like it's actually been sat in. So that looks really, really good. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so just make that back. Sorry about this. All right, I'm just about to jump inside the vehicle right now, Matt. I'm just going to reach in, close up the door, and I'm just going to show you before I get into that side, just start that vehicle up. Fantastic. Okay, a little bit low on fuel, but we can get that sorted for you, not a problem at all. As you can see on the clock, it's only got 29,593 on the clock. Beautiful, sounds nice. Before I go away from the steering wheel itself, I just want to make sure I can have a look around the steering wheel and how it's actually been looked after. Alright, okay, so on the steering wheel itself, on the left hand side, you've got all your controls. You've got your cruise control on the left side, and then actually on the right side of that, you've got your volume controls. You're changing your stations as well too. You've got your Bluetooth and your voice recognition and your mute button. Okay, looking at the audio sound system now, you've got up top, as you know, you've got your three vents for your air conditioning, and then basically you've got your audio sound system there, as you can see that. Okay, so it's trying to connect to a phone at the moment. But lucky I don't have mine connected to it, so that's pretty good. You volume controls over this side, you're tuning your station in this side as well too. Um, got your heated seats and you've actually got your air conditioning in your seats as well too. So um, both, that's actually a pretty plus there. Um, you can turn up your air conditioning in your seats on your passenger side or you can use your heated seats either one. Okay, so just make your way back down underneath. You've got your start button and your stop button to start the vehicle. Has a light, your traction control, and basically in the middle of that one is actually your steering control. So you can actually change your steering from sports mode to normal mode as well. Underneath that, there's your USB stick you can put underneath there, and then basically it's actually got a cigarette lighter for some reason. So it's very, very rare that you definitely have one of those in there. Your gear stick, just looking around the gear stick itself. It looks all nice, got that nice chrome effect on it. You got your cup holders in the center part as well too. Also, before I go away from the audio, I want to put into the reverse camera. So it gives you a good view of that rear camera as well. Fantastic, it looks really nice and clear. 
and then basically you can go through your entertainment, it's all touch screen button as well too, you can change up your station, CD, CD player, all that sort of stuff as well too. Alright, before I go away from that side, I just want to make sure you go up onto the uh, dash itself. Just give me a bit of a look at the dash, how the dash has actually been looked after. It's got that nice leather effect in it as well too. On the guys side like and passenger. Fantastic, got the symbol of the Mustang in there. Nice. Alright, just looking on the passenger floor, you've got a nice set of floor mats in there. So it actually, you know, kept nice that floor. Over on the passenger door trim as well. Fantastic. Alright, Matt, so just having a look at your owner's manual. So it's got your owner's books, log books, service history there as well. Just by looking at the log books itself, I can't show you the previous owner. You'll probably be able to look at it once you purchase it anyway. Going through the service history there, you've got the 2,335, and then you've got the 6,654. Then you've got your 12,256, and then the next one is there, done. 18,991, following it over again, uh, looking at the service there as well too, and then you've got your next service at 28,000 Ks, so as you can see that it's definitely, definitely been looked after really well, um, you can see that's the last service that's been done to it, fantastic, okay I'm just about to jump out of the vehicle right now, Matt, and uh, before I jump out, I just want to lift up the uh, the bonnet itself. Before I do that, just giving you a bit of a listen to the note of the vehicle itself. Just going to give it a little tiny rev. Oh, nice. Got a really nice looking note on that. Alright. Okay, Matt, just going over on the left side because this is where you actually open up your bonnet. So that's just because I've got the keys out. Just before I go underneath the bonnet itself now, you've actually got two keys with that too, Matt. That's actually there. Lifting up the bonnet. If I can find the latch. There we go. Fantastic. Very, very clean and tidy underneath there. All right, Matt, that actually has come to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call, send me a text message. And, but thank you very much and congratulations on your purchase.